Politicians in Arkansas come from a variety of backgrounds. They're lawyers, doctors, teachers, and community activists. But never before have they counted a professional wrestler among their ranks. Until now. I recently traveled to Russellville to learn more about this soon-to-be representative for District 53 and what motivated him to move from the ring to the House. If it's true that politics is a combat sport, Matt Duffield will fit right in. You want me to get a picture? Get a picture with you? Sure. The newly elected state representative from Russellville didn't grow up watching Meet the Press. I started watching wrestling every Saturday night and got hooked on it. Hooked is an understatement. At age 15, Matt enrolled in a professional wrestling school in Logan County. By 17, he was promoting matches and escorting wrestlers to the ring as a manager. The first night in, I had a bottle thrown at me, and so they thought I had a pretty good, pretty good knack for it at that time. His first match as a professional happened in Ozark. He was 21. Wrestling under the stage name Matt Riviera, he became better known as the Lover Boy. How would you describe your style in the ring? Old school. I tried to I tried to be as old school as possible. Our job is to provide a release to those people that are there. Fans will show up and they'll throw their hard-earned money to have that experience and buy that ticket. Here's the deal. There's a new world. Matt Riviere's leading it. For a young man who loved pro wrestling, the career was all it was cracked up to be. He was the center of attention, keeping fans on the edge of their seats and competing with the best in the world. What's your most memorable match? Ooh, I'd say definitely my steel cage match against Jerry the King Lawler. The King bagging the lover boy into the turnbuckle and a shot to the midsection. That was it. To have a match with the King, a WWE Hall of Famer like that, uh, that was really neat. But the lifestyle also took a toll. Matt remembers the long drives, the unremarkable locker rooms, and the physical demands of performing. And they say the biggest enemy to a pro wrestler is adrenaline. Because once you get in the ring, you don't feel anything at all. But you definitely feel it after. Uh, the worst injury I had was actually when I bit my tongue. I know that sounds kind of wimpy, so to say, but uh, but I couldn't eat solid food for about two or three weeks, and, and that was a tough one. I mean, uh, Arn Anderson, or yeah, Arn Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. And so, at age 38, armed with a lifetime of wrestling memories, yeah, Matt called it a career, oh, and been. immediately began to look for the next ago. big oh, thing. Ago, right My friends and I actually kind of sat down, some of my buddies, and made a list. Well, what's you know what's next? And so we thought, you know, what about? What about politics? I'm Matt Duffield, and I'm ready to be your next state representative. The timing was perfect. Russellville State Representative Dr. Joe Cloud had announced he was not seeking a new term. So Matt threw his hat in the ring. My friends and I knocked on over 3,000 doors, and I knocked on as many as I could and talked to as many folks, and, and I just simply said, hey, I'm, I'm running to be your state representative. What could I do for you? What would you like to see done yourself or see done for this area? A self-described Christian conservative, he ran on a platform of lower taxes and gun rights. And on primary day, he won. Without an opponent in the fall, he'll be the next state rep for District 53. He acknowledges it's a leap from professional wrestling to dealing with Medicaid waivers, but he says he'll be ready. And whenever I take on a new venture, I try to find people who no way more than no more than I know about it and seek out those people and, and pick their brains and I've been very fortunate all the way through my campaign to now I've had some great great people uh, in Little Rock and beyond that have helped me and, and uh, plan to help teach me the way and while he's still in the gym four days a week staying in shape Matt promises he's fully committed to his duties at the Capitol and to making Arkansas the best it can be could you ever see yourself returning to the ring as the politician, Matt Duffield? Or, I mean, it... Well, you never say never, but uh, as I sit here, you know, and, and think about it, I remember the pain above all, and I don't, I don't see that in the future. But, you know, you never say never, Chris, because in my past, whenever you say never, uh, things happen. But my focus right now is, is to, be, uh, to be the state representative for District 53 in Russellville and work hard for the people here. And, and that does not uh, allow me time to, uh, to get in the ring and train anymore. My focus is the state of Arkansas, and I plan to work hard and, and take that as, as far as it'll go as long as the people want me around. Well, Matt is a true entertainer. In addition to his work in wrestling, he also starred in the reality TV show Megan Wants a Millionaire.